welcome back to my channel it's your girl Coco Styles and in today's video we're going to be doing a reorganization of my pantry it's been a long time coming and I'm finally just kind of overseeing all of these plastic bags from the farmers market so I'm going to give you guys a quick look at what it looks like right now and then start to take everything out and kind of get situated and what I'm going to try to put into the things that I purchased. I did purchase some things from Ikea, the container store, and from Target. So I'll show you guys that in a second, but let me just open up the pantry and give you guys a quick look. I do have a light in here. I have a light in here, but it's not that bright. I'll probably change it eventually, but as you can see, I have a bunch of just containers like plastic containers which I'm gonna take them out of here um, and put them in like glass and stuff I have brooms in here I have stuff for my grill I have some water bottles um, flour and stuff I am a vegan so a lot of my food fresh fruits is in my refrigerator of course but I have a lot of grains and stuff in here and oils and stuff so I do have paper towels and stuff in here also but I'm gonna try to reorganize this as best as I can I'm gonna show you guys what I did purchase from Target first um, I washed everything yesterday so I got some of these from Target they were a little pricey I'm not even gonna lie well to me um, so I got some of these in this size and I got these, I think, I believe they're called Lazy Susan. So I got some of the, I got two of these actually. And I got a little spice rack from Target also. So all of this is from Target. I also bought some smaller ones from Target. I got some of these from Target too, probably for my nuts and stuff. And I got these from the container store got these from the container store so which were actually pretty cheap considering how the container store is when it comes to their pricing um that came in a box of five i got this from ikea these from ikea this i was thinking about putting oil in here but i don't know if it's a good idea to put olive oil and grapeseed oil in clear containers even though they are going to be in a closet I may try it out and see how it goes for the first month um, if it spoils or anything I don't know they keep I keep seeing stuff about it should stay in a dark container but it'll be in a closet it's never any light on in there so I'll, I'll just check it out if it doesn't work you know, I'll just continue to go back to my old way. And I got these from Ikea too. They didn't have the largest size. So I did get these. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here, in here yet. So, so that's that. And then I got this, these from Ikea also. I got these season holders from Ikea. And I had some stuff from before and I said like, these would be a good good to use to utilize what I have already and that's it so oh actually I bought some of these from Ikea too I'm sorry not Ikea Target and this is from this must be college stuff because this is the room essential stuff. So I'm probably going to put like paper towels in here and go from there guys. So again, this is it, what it looks like now. And I'm going to start to take everything. I'm going to move everything off of my counter, kind of position it to how I want to put it. I'm probably going to put this stuff in there first and then see how I want to set it up and then go from there. So I'll see you in a second. So this part of the video, I'm just gonna do a voiceover and just kind of speed through everything really fast. I know you guys do not wanna see me pull out my food and stuff and try to place things in certain places. Um, I did chop this video up a lot because it was extremely long and I didn't want you guys to get bored. I wanted to get straight to the point and I wanted you guys to see exactly what I was doing. So 
I'm just taking everything out of the pantry and I'm going to, at, at this moment, I'm pretty much trying to figure out what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to throw out and what I'm going to put where. So I'm taking out all of my grains and my nuts and stuff. I do not have a lot of food in my pantries because I just have like beans, not beans, like, well, I guess beans and grains and flour and some snacks and stuff, but not much. The stuff that was in there that did not need to be in there was the stuff from my grill and my broom and stuff. So I'm taking all of that stuff out. I do have a place for everything in my home and some of these cabinets that I have that you're seeing. So that's what you're seeing here, me just taking everything out and getting ready to place the new canisters in to see where I'm gonna put them. So now I'm just gonna reveal the whole entire closet to you guys. This is was tiring for me. It took about two hours, so just imagine that video was about two hours long. I wiped it inside out. It wasn't bad because um, I never really had much stuff on the ground, on the floor in there. And everything already had a place. It just seemed a little cluttered to me. The cabinet that I just opened is where I put my stuff for my, um, my grill. I never used it. I bought a grill, never used it. But maybe one day I'll show you guys that. <laughs> me trying to grill one day in the summertime. But um, here's the pantry. And I absolutely love it. It's very neat. I'm going to step to the side for you guys to see it. And I'm actually going to pan in for you guys. Don't mind the shaky camera when you guys see it. Um, but here it is. Here's a close-up of it. Um, short and sweet video for you guys. I have a lot of grains, like I said. I did buy some, um, what do you call that, seasoning shakers or whatever. I had I used my old products, the old items that I had. My paper towels, I put those in there. My grains, the two Lazy Susans. I also do have some stuff in plastic bags on the side, which those are all my extra stuff. I mean, it looks okay because it's still pretty neat, but I am going to probably find like something from Ikea to fit in in there. But you know, Ikea has been sold out of like everything since Corona. So here it is. I got these, like I said, the stuff from Target are the ones that have the wooden tops. The ones with the black tops came from the container store. The Lazy Susans also came from Ikea, also, I'm not Ikea, Target. Um, I did label everything with the Dymo label. I like it. I actually took that clip out, guys, because I was totally struggling with it. Didn't realize that there was a piece in there for you to actually clip it and cut it. Um, so midway through, I realized that. But it's actually nice and easy to use. So I labeled the old stuff that I had, too. I'm glad that I kept those because I was able to put like some of my goji berries and stuff in there. And I got my kamut and my spelt, um, my chickpeas. I got some panko breadcrumbs. I got some kamut flakes. Um, I'm sorry, kamut grains. I do have kamut flakes there. And my good old hot sauce in the bag. I, I just can't give up hot sauce. Oh my goodness. Um, and this is it. So like I said, everything was coming up. To be a little pricey in my opinion not the stuff from target not, i'm sorry not the stuff from ikea or the stuff from the container store because i actually got a pretty good deal from the stuff at the container store but the stuff at target those little things were like ten dollars plus and i have quite a few in there but i really liked it and i'm just like well you only do it once i don't have to do it again and those are those are glass and that's the extra stuff that i said that i have I'm going to find something to put those in. And some of them I didn't put labels on because I will swap those out, like my pumpkin seeds and my um, popcorn. Because I'm sure I'll alternate the, the um, snacks that I do get. But my staple ones are like my nuts, my walnuts, my Brazil nuts, and like my cashews, my mangoes, my dry mangoes and stuff. So this is it, guys. I hope you guys like it and enjoy it. If you guys think I should add anything else in here, let me know. It does look a little empty, but again, most of my stuff is in my refrigerator. Um, and that's because I buy a lot of fresh fruits and, and stuff like that, you know, weekly. So, But I do like the Lazy Susans. I don't know if you guys can see the little bottles down there that I had. I ended up putting some red wine vinegar in there. I didn't put the oil in there. I just kind of left the oil where it was. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more in there and just kind of use that as that um, storage for now. 
And I do have a little bit of extra stuff at the bottom as well. So I bought three of the wire racks um, from Target. Those were actually cheap. Like I said, the only thing that was pricey was those canisters with the wood top. Um, so if you did want to get those, I know Ikea has some. But like I said, where I am living, they were like completely sold out. So there you see, and I have like the extra oil and stuff, my paper towel, paper towels and some more snacks and some extra flour down there. I'm going to get some more containers for my flour because I do have other flour on the other side, but it's different, but I don't have any of this white spelt in a um, canister yet. So in a jar. So, um, but this is it. This is, this is the closet. This is the pantry and I absolutely love it. It's very neat. I am a stickler for neat things, things being in order and everything having a place, but here it is. I hope you guys like it. And if you stay to the end of this video, guys, please, please um, comment, Coco, we see you. And if you think I should change anything, let me know if I should add anything, if I should layer anything. I mean, it's not much I can really put in here because of the type of food that I buy on a regular basis. And um, so probably if I did put something in here, it would probably be more, maybe a bigger storage for my cereal. I don't eat much cereal, but the cereal that I do eat. It's um, it's one certain type of cereal, and um, but I do I actually do need a couple of, couple more because I have some food that I ordered, um, some Kamut cereal that I usually can't get in a store, so I usually order it. So I'm probably gonna have to go back to Target and get some more of those other um jars. But I hope you guys like it, and like I said, please comment, Coco. We see you. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I see you guys in the next one. Take care.